Welcome, welcome, welcome for the first time to Algebra 1 in this class. Now, um, uh, this is going to be a class for homeschoolers where they can go through and watch all the videos, take the test, do everything, or people could just use these videos as a supplement to something else you're learning. If you need another explanation of the quadratic equation, it's going to be out there. So, but the, um, this is going to be covering Algebra 1, and the text that I'm going to be using is McDougall Littell Algebra 1. It's an older edition. I like it better than, I have a lot of the new edition too, but the old one's better. It's better organized, and it does a better job of showing what's important and what's not. So, this is the one. Um, any state is fine. Uh, like some of them say California edition, Texas edition, Florida edition, it doesn't matter which one. The number for it, the ISBN, will be in the comments. I think 2004 is the, nor is the edition I normally use, but I think 2001 is okay too. I think either of those, but I'll list the okay ISBNs, okay? And any state's okay. So, this is what it looks like. It's red. It's got a world on it. It's a terrific book. And um, now, do you need the teacher's edition, you moms out there? You really don't. You could buy it if you want. What the teacher's edition is going to have that the student edition doesn't is answers to the, to the evens also. The students have answers to the odds, and I only assign for homework the odds. And I'll tell you about that in a second. But the um, but it would also have answers to the end of chapter test. So you might want it for that. They go for about $25 to $40 on, you know, used. You can find it. And, and I can um, list some places for to get that also. Okay. Um, any states okay? Uh, yeah, let's talk more about this. Okay, so for if you're doing it as a class, you can take the test at the end of the chapters, and if you don't want to buy the teacher's edition to find out the answers, you can check it with Math, Mathway or Wolfram Alpha. These are free online algebra places that, that solve. Um, or uh, you could, there is a Facebook group that goes with this class, it's like called Miss Lisa's Algebra 1 or something like that. Mrs. Lisa's. Um, it's a, like a secret group uh, because there will be tests and answers on the group. So we can't just, so we can't put tests and answers out there. There are a lot of schools who still use these books and they would not appreciate it if I put all the answers out on the internet. So your, the moms can request to be a part of this and you can get the test and the answers off of this group. It's all free. Or you can also buy, there is a test book that goes with these, with these classes. This is the one for Algebra 2, but Algebra 1 looks the same. And in it are tests and answers. Now, the test at the end of the chapter is harder than the test in here. And for each chapter in this book, there's an A, B, and C test. The A is the easiest, B is in the middle, C is advanced. I usually give the kids A or B, usually B, but sometimes A. Um, depending on if I felt like we, I just don't want to spend any more time. They, they really don't know it that well, but they know it good enough. I'll give them the A. These tests are better than the one at the end of the book. So, so you can get these for free from the Facebook group, but these videos are going to be on YouTube forever. And I don't know that this Facebook group will be there forever. Right now, there's another homeschool mom who's running that. Um, I'm not going to be running it. I'm going back to public school teaching. Um, so I'm sort of leaving this in the hands of the, the homeschoolers. All right. So, all right. I think that's all I had to say about that. Okay. You need a TI-84 graphing calculator for this class. Absolutely. Um, it's super important that you get one and that you let me teach you how to use it. These are allowed now. They're allowed in the SAT, the ACT, college, algebra. They're used, you will use this from all your science classes, all your math classes from, from this point on, you will need this calculator. The calculator is old technology. It's not the best calculator out there, but it, it is the one that everyone has agreed. It does enough, but not too much. The, the, some of the newer calculators do too much. That, that you don't have to learn anything. They'll just do it for you. And the teachers have all decided this is the one. It is not intuitive. You can't just figure it out. 
You need someone, me, to teach you how to do it. So on Fridays, I will, I'm going to put for your homework, all you'll do is what I call calculator labs, where you'll learn how to use your calculator. So important. And I know some of the moms out there are resistant to this. You grew up without a calculator, and you're like, I am not spending a hundred bucks on that thing, and they can do it the way I did in the 80s. The problem is, is teachers don't give you enough time to do it 1987 style anymore. Now they expect the kids to have this calculator, and they give them many more problems, way more problems you can do 1987 style. Now they give the kids lots of problems, and you have to have a calculator to do it fast enough. So um, you can get them used for about $50, but beware, I've had so many kids buy them used and they're broken. Right now, it, which is in the summer, um, Walmart tends to run them on sale for like in the 80s of dollars, which is nice because it's not broken. Regular price is over, is 100 to like 115. I like mine, it's color, not, not on the outside, it's the screen lights up and it's color and it makes it a little bit better, so if you got the money, I would definitely get the color um, display, but it is more. Not on sale, the color display ones are 130. I know it's terrible, but it's the last calculator you'll buy. It will go all the way through college with you. So it's an investment. Hey, just think, the class is free. You can afford the calculator. All right, um, next. You also need ruler, graph paper, etc. I will be have videos that are separate from the regular class videos for the calculator labs. Watch them. Super important. You do. It'll be all zoomed in where my regular videos will be in front of this board, which you might need to zoom in for it to be able to see it too. Um, the homework will be in the comments, what I want you to do for each section. It will be odds only. Also, you do, you do not need to do every problem in the book. You will die. It's way too much. Um, so I pick and choose the important stuff. Like a lot of times they give you word problems that they even haven't taught you enough skills to know how to do. So we'll be skipping a lot of those. So um, just do the homework I sign. Do not kill yourself. Um, I want you to check as you go. I only assign the odds. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a problem, flip immediately to the answers and check it and see if you got it right or not. I don't want you to do a whole page of math wrong and put it into your long-term memory the wrong way to do it. Oh, if you if you got it wrong, I want you to figure out why you got it wrong and fix it and then before you go on to the next one. I don't want you putting wrong math in your brain. Um, watch the videos. There'll be I've had kids this summer doing this class and they tried doing it without watching the videos. They thought, I'll just skip that and do the homework. And they did terrible and failed the test. So watch the videos. Very important. You need to pause them. Like after I work something, pause it, and then you work it and make sure you understand it and then push play again. You don't have to sit there and watch them straight through. I want you to hit pause as you're watching the videos. They're short. You can do it. Um, the other thing is, if you're still completely lost, you can go watch Khan Academy, but this is, but beware, 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 um, beware, because there are 10 ways to do just about any algebra problem. And if I teach you one way and Khan teaches you another way, you, I've seen it over and over again where you end up knowing no ways. I know that's probably not good grammar. So why, so I want you to try to just stick with me and even don't, you know, ask your grandpa how to do it because the more you have consistency and repetition, the more you're going to understand it and the more it's going to go into your long-term memory. Um, I used to teach public school and I taught, I don't know if I told you this story or not, or not because I've, I'm recording these videos back to back, so forgive me if I have. Um, I used to teach public school uh, upper level chemistry and physics. And whenever I got the kids, they did not know how to do their math. And I would just fuss. What are those math teachers doing? Are they down there eating donuts? I wish I got paid to not teach math. I was very smarty. I know. So, but then now that I've taught homeschool all the way pre-K through 12th grade, um, I've realized it's not the math teacher's fault. What happens is these kids have a different teacher every year and a different book every year and a different way to do it every year. And in the end, they end up just gobbledygook. They know nothing. And it's not really their fault. So the kids who have had me, I teach them one way from pre-algebra all the way through algebra two. 
and they end up hearing the same things over and over and over again, learning one way to do it with this one series of books, and they end up knowing it. I've had so many kids come back from college algebra going, it was easy, Miss Blackbird. It was just so easy. I had already knew everything before I went into that class. They didn't teach me anything new. I made straight A's, and I'm like, yes. Yes, because consistency and repetition. Also, do not be shocked, but I'm going to sing songs and do dances. All of this is to help make little hooks where it goes into your long-term memory, where you're not like my public school kids who did it, made A's on it, but then just forgot it. I want you to be able to remember it. So sing along, dance along, <laughs> clap along, and it will get in your head. Also, this first year, I'm gonna release the videos weekly. I'm not gonna dump the whole year at once even though I've got it all recorded, so I'll be wearing like shorts all year, but um, because I did them all this summer. But I'm gonna do it weekly because I'd like to make some money off YouTube. I wanna be a YouTuber, I wanna be a math, a math influencer. So like, share, and subscribe, and hopefully since I'm putting all these classes out free, I'll be able to make a little bit of money um, from YouTube, and that way you guys get blessed with free math, and I get blessed with some YouTube money. So like, share, and subscribe. Tell all your homeschool friends about it. Share it with all your homeschool groups. Uh, I want to go viral. Okay, I guess that's it. Now what I'm going to leave you with each time is a subliminal message. All these people hate on math, and I want you to start realizing that math is wonderful. So every time I'm going to try to remember to say, math is great.